Hey up everybody. I'm just going to move on to the next part on this micro lathe that I'm building. Just before I continue with this, uh, I've had this sticker come in along with this note and along with this uh, little gif what, is, what I've had sent. Uh, it's from Tom at Hilltop Machine Works in the USA and he's also sent me these uh, conversion charts, the Starrett for Metric and Imperial. So thanks for that Tom, very much appreciated. Uh, so if you've not seen Tom, he's got a really uh, fantastic machine shop. Well, it's not just a machine shop, it's a, it's a jack of all trades really. Fabricating, plating, machining, you name it, uh, Tom does it. Uh, so he's got some really interesting videos and uh, a lot of his videos are actually um, videos that he's actually doing uh, his, um, it's his job really and he, and he videos it. He's also got his companion all, always with him in his workshop, uh, Mr Chaos, so watch out for him. So uh, I'll get you up on the sticker board then Tom, that's Tom at Hilltop Machine Works. I'll get you up on the sticker board uh, and then I'll crack on with this. In this part then I'm going to have a look at the tool post and I want the tool post to be able to fit 3 8 tool steel in so that when I when I locate the piece of tool steel in it will automatically find the centre height on a piece of 3 8 tool steel. So I'm going to take some measurements uh, you know where I've got to be with this and then find some material then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at this then. I've got this piece of half inch bar between centres there's my compound slide, there's my half inch bar, so from the compound slide to the top of the bar is 960 thousandths, so I've got my 960, I've took a quarter of an inch off to get to my centre line, quarter of an inch that's 0 0.250, that gives me 0 0.710 from the compound to the centre line. My tool which I'm working on is uh, 3 8 square so if I take 3 8 off that 710 that's giving me the size 0.345 of the bottom portion of the tool post so what I will do then I'll put a slot all the way around this tool post 7 16 deep to give me a bit of space at the top <coughs> And then I'll do, probably make it the, sa the same size on the top portion. Or I've worked this size out here just to get me up to an inch and a quarter, just to keep the sizes uniform, if if that's the word. So I think what I'm going to look at is a piece of half inch and a half square by inch and a quarter thick. And then I'll put equispaced holes in eight of all the way around to clamp the tool, uh, board out in the centre for the um, clamping bar that's going to fit into the compound slide. Right I've had a rummage around my stash. I've got a piece of good quality aluminium here. It's just under an inch and a half so I could I could get it out of that then I've got this piece of steel which has already got a, a hole in it I think it's a half inch hole that is a fraction over inch and a half so I suppose I could use that so you just have to go with the flow don't you sometimes and go and you know and adapt things so uh, I think what I'll do I'll to start with I'll use this piece of steel and maybe reduce that hole size down
Okay, I've got this uh, this block squared up now. I've uh, I'm going to put the slot in now for the tool. So I've touched onto this face, moved over the appropriate amount, which I think it was 3.345. I said on that drawing, uh, and then I'm going to cut this slot in all the way around now. Okay, let's have a quick look at what I've been up to and uh, I've managed to get this finished off now. Uh, at the beginning of the video, the material I made it from I told you it had already got a hole in it. So I've rebushed that hole out. I've tapped them 2BA. Then the actual slide made this little spindle for it with a 3 8 cycle thread on one end up to that flange. And then 3 8 diameter the, the rest of the way to correspond with that with the 3 8 BSF thread on the top and that spigot is to fit in the bottom of the tool post and locate. That's that then and uh, the actual studs how I made them so to save me making them from scratch what I did, tightened a nut right up to the back, up to the head. Then I've made this little jig. It's a it's a four position jig. So once I've got that into this jig, that stud, I lock it off with that lock nut to secure it. Then I just milled me flat on one side, two sides, three sides, four sides.
and that's what it come out like. I've left the screwdriver slot in the top just in case I wanted to use a screwdriver in it but I have found this uh, quarter inch uh, t-bar that I've been I've had it for years that I've never never been able to find a use for it and uh, so that fits onto that head like that look quarter of an inch across flats right that's the screws fitted that's my tool fitted And what I've done then, I've just made this, I've just made this nut up, this brass nut for now. I might make a, a proper domed handle with a, with a handle on. I've not decided yet. That's why I've not done that. And while I were making that one, I've made two more. A little bit smaller on the square, because that's all I had. Uh, but I've made them to fit five sixteenths tool steel. So let's uh, let's put this back on lay then and see what it looks like. Well, I think that's it for this part then. Uh, I think that's turned out okay. Um, and now I've got these other two extra ones made, I'll be able to fasten up to 12 tools uh, permanently. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, I'll continue with this next video. So if you found that useful, interesting, etc, etc, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on next part to this then. Thanks for watching, bye for now.